Hello students. Students, today's class topic is Stone Age. It is also a very important topic of ancient history. And as the name suggests, Stone Age. In this, we have to discuss the different phases of the Paleolithic Age, Mesolithic Age, and the Neolithic Age. Paleo that is old, and lithic means stone. So that Stone Age which we have we have to discuss here. Different phases are there: Paleolithic phase, Mesolithic phase, and Neolithic phase. And the time of this entire Stone Age is from around 2000, around 2.5 lakh BC to 4000 BC. And this entire and during this entire period, all the Stone Ages, either of the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and the Neolithic, that took place. Neolithic that is 10,000, that is 4000 BC onwards period was. And this Paleolithic again divided into three parts that is the early Paleolithic, middle Paleolithic and upper Paleolithic. This Paleolithic age is up to from 2.5 lakh BC to 1.4 lakh, 1, 1 lakh 40,000 BC. That was the time period which is given to the early Paleolithic age or the lower Paleolithic age from 2.5 lakh BC to 1 lakh 40,000 around BC. That was the entire time period which is given to the early Paleolithic age, which is followed by the middle Paleolithic age. That is from 1 lakh 40,000 to 40,000. That is middle Paleolithic age. Followed by upper Paleolithic age. That is from 40,000 to 10,000 BC. So the entire time period of the Paleolithic age is from 2.5 lakh BC to 10,000 BC. During this period, Paleolithic phase covered three phases, lower, middle and upper. And which is followed by the Mesolithic age that is from around 10,000 to 4,000 and 4,000 onwards that is the Neolithic age. Students in different books and different study material and different sources, you can get a little bit of change in the times that is 2.5 lakh BC to 3 lakh BC, 2 lakh BC also, 10,000 to 9,000 or 11,000 or 8,000 also. So don't get yourself confused because no question will be asked what was the exact age of the Paleolithic age or the Mesolithic or the Neolithic age. That is all, always in rounds because different scholars, different archaeologists have their own findings and their own readings and on the basis of those different, uh, different scholars, archaeologists, we take a general accepted view which is acceptable to more or less all the other historians. To, uh, this time period of the Paleolithic age is from 2.5 lakh BC to 10,000 BC which cover the three phases that is the early, early Paleolithic, middle Paleolithic and the upper Paleolithic also. In the last class students, I told you people about the origin of the earth also and the evolution of the man. There is no need to discuss that topic in detail. If you want to discuss that topic in detail, if you want to go in detail of that topic, then you can discuss, you can refer those videos, that, that the earlier videos. Here we have to take just a glance of this topic also. In the last classes we discussed about the age of the earth because we have to start it from the 2.5 lakh BC. So many, many students could be there who have just joined this class to so 2.5 lakh BC. In order to tell you people about the 2.5 lakh BC, we must go a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the earlier stages also. And as I discussed with you people, the age of the earth is estimated age of the earth is 4.6 billion years. And from 4.6 4, 4 billion till present, and till present is the Holocene period. Earth also has covered different phases, like the Hadeon, Aryan, then Phenozoic, then it converted into the Protozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic eras. After that, the Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, Pleistocene, and present is the Holocene. So this Holocene, before this Holocene was the Pleistocene, and this whole story of this human evolution and and this the Stone Age took place in that Pleistocene age. That Pleistocene that is followed by the Holocene. So when this earth was going through, this, through these different phases, the human evolution also took place. That was in the Pleistocene age that is starts from the Australopithecus, Gingenthropus, Pithcanthropus, Java, Cro-Magnum, Neanderthal man, ultimately the True Homo sapiens emerged. So when the, what is the 2.5? So from 4.6 billion to millions to 10 lakhs to lakhs. So when it was a time of the 2.5 lakh, when we come in the 2.5 lakh in the BC period, then it was the beginning of the Stone Age. One point is that. So in the Stone Age, the Paleolithic Age was what was the life of the people in the Paleolithic Age? That was the 
that was the complete wandering age that was wandering life that the people had the the hunting life they had they used to wander from one place to another and no no settlement in the life was there and after that fire was also discovered and that was the glacial age also very cold time that was and with the passage of time they started wearing the clothes in the form of the bark of the trees and skin of the dead animals that was the life of those people and in this topic of the stone age what type of questions could be asked for those students who are going to appear in the civils in the pcs exams of the up pre on 24th of this month generally the questions asked because only hardly 10 days are there not 10 days even what questions uh, they ask generally what was the site and what were the discoveries of those of those sites who discovered their site who were the archaeologists what important findings from these sites we have discovered that type of questions generally asked here uh, when we talk about the paleolithic age beginning of the paleolithic age in, in india it was uh, it was the time period of the 1863 that was robert bruce foot who discovered the first handmade axe of the paleolithic age uh, in pallavaram area of the madras in south india and in 1935 it was peterson and dera peterson they also discovered lots of paleolithic tools in 1935 and that time period was that was the wandering and hunting and wandering stage of the period of the, that time period was besides this we have to discuss what type of techniques they used while making the stone while making the tools from the stone after this paleolithic age we have to discuss the mesolithic age mesolithic age was a transitional phase in between the paleolithic and the neolithic phase paleolithic that was the beginning and after and neolithic that was the last phase and in between that there was the mesolithic age also that was from around uh, 10000 bc to 4000 bc generally the, the scholars give the time to this uh, uh, mesolithic age so mesolithic age was characterized by a particular type of tools that was the micro needles and during this particular time as i told you people that the early paleolithic the paleolithic age was of the wandering age where they used to wander from one place to another in search of the in search of living conditions or and those living conditions or the availability of the water and availability of the uh, availability of the food the food was of the gathering stages that was the seeds and they used to kill the animals and used to eat the raw meat also so that was the living conditions of that particular time and the life was not certain definitely but in the mesolithic age that was the beginning of the settled life also because around the 8000 bc when we talk about in the world scenario in the european continent and the african continent we have some settlement that were made by the human beings that was the earliest settlement by the 8000 bc and in 8000 bc in our country also in pratapur uttar pradesh there is a site known as a sahar nehar sarai nehar rai so that is a site from where we have discovered the earliest phases of the human settlements in the form of a settled life but that was not a complete settled life was not there that was just the beginning because the beginning of this settled because the exact settled life we will get in the neolithic stages neolithic age is not in the mesolithic age mesolithic age was the beginning that was the beginning of the settled life and the production of uh, crop production the uh, uh, beginning stage of that also and agriculture production and domestication of of animals was the beginning stage rudimentary stage elementary stages were there and the final stages we get ultimately in the neolithic age so microliths were the important tools of the mesolithic age and the important scholars archaeologists as shri hg sankalia and b subarao they discovered many mesolithic tools in the in gujarat there is a site langanj uh, site is that from there they had discovered large number of these uh, mesolithic tools that was the mesolithic age that was uh, from 10000 approx to the 4000 approx period was and life was becoming a bit of settled life was there that was not the exact settled life but a beginning was there that's why it was the transitional phase in the transitional phase was that what was the transitional phase neither the people were completely wandering in the in the wandering stage nor they were the settled so that was a transitional phase that was known as the mesolithic stage it was followed by the neolithic stage and this neolithic is also known as the neolithic revolution why it is known as the revolution <coughs> revolution in the sense we can say that because now the life become completely settled domestication of animal was there you can take the example of the sites like the burza hung in kashmir and uh, chiran in bihar so domestication of animal was definitely started and agriculture production was also started and people started living in circular houses small houses 
and with bam uh, that was made of bamboos and and uh, wood and reeds reed material that used them and that was a satellite and that's why it is known as the neolithic revolution also now we have to discuss in tabular form what was the site where it, uh, who discovered them and what are the important findings we have to take it from there so that we will discuss in a tabular form and uh, let me revise this topic to you in one or two minute time in paleolithic in stone age we have to discuss the three stone ages one is the paleolithic age mesolithic age and the neolithic age paleolithic age further subdivided into three stages that is the early paleolithic middle paleolithic and the upper paleolithic early paleolithic was from 2.5 lakh bc to 1 lakh 40000 bc what were the important sites we have to discuss here in, in our country from in a, from which area we have discovered the sites of early paleolithic age followed by the middle paleolithic that is from 1 lakh 40000 to 40000 40, and from 40000 to 10000 was the upper paleolithic age so that was the entire paleolithic age after that we have to discuss the mesolithic age and mesolithic sites mesolithic sites who discovered these sites what are the important findings what type of tools they used there the people used there that particular time and it was followed by the neolithic age also okay students so here we start in the tabular form that is the the main topic is the stone age and we divide this topic into four subtopics first is the stone age stone age that is what type of stone age it is either it is the lower paleolithic then middle paleolithic upper paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic so this is all about the different stone ages it is followed by the next subtopic is the tool techniques so what were their tools that are the prehistoric time and with the, the time which in which we don't have any written material so what how we can know the history of that particular time of which we don't have any written material only by the tools and weapons they use that particular time so that was the stage of the tool techniques how they used to make their tools they used to make their tools with the help of the rocks stone boulders that's why the early people of the lower paleolithic age they used to live at the bank of the rivers where the large boulders were also available boulders like that very big just like the mountains very big stones or very big rocks they were known as the boulders and people used to live near the rivers because of the availability of water and from the boulder they used to take the small stones and from those stones they used to make the tools and weapon whatever they wanted or whatever their requirement was that's why they started living in the uh, in the banks of the rivers because they didn't have any type of pottery or utensils to carry to hold water that's why they started living the near 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 water bodies and with the uh, large boulders what type of techniques they used that we have to discuss here what type of techniques were there direct percussion technique was there then cylinder hammer technique claytonian technique levallosian technique abwellian technique asturian techniques what these techniques actually were by following these techniques they used to take the stones first they used to cut the stone from the large boulders then with the help of other stones they started the, the uh, they, they, they would consider one stone as the hammer and started giving shape to the other stone that was what that was the direct percussion method and and they used to give shape of of uh, what what type of shape they used to give the shape of those tools which they require in their daily life and their mind was not much developed in the early stages because that was the stage of the Australopithecus. With the passage of time during this Pleistocene age from Australopithecus, they, they moved toward the Neanderthal and ultimately they, lived, they uh, moved toward the true Homo sapiens also. So when their mind become more developed, that development, that progress we will see in the tools also. Just like take the example of the microliths. Microliths were the tool that was used in the Mesolithic age. And by the time period of the Mesolithic age, the mind, not only the skull, the, the, the cranial capacity, the mind was developed much more. That's why the, the tools, weapons of the Mesolithic was much more advanced and much more developed as compared to the Paleolithic. With the passage of time in the Neolithic age, they become much more developed. That's why in the early period, in the Paleolithic age, when their mind was not developed, they used to wander from one place to another and used to live just like the animals. And when, in the passage of time, they, uh, they discovered fire also. Before that, they used to eat the raw, material, uh, the, uh, the raw meat only. And after that, they started cooked food also because of the discovery of the fire and, and, and a little bit of... Uh, and it was a time period of the Homo erectus also. 
homo erectus because in the pleistocene that was the whole period that was the australopithecus to gingianthropus with canthropus java pro magnum neanderthal and ultimately the true homo sapiens but what happened before the pleistocene period before the pleistocene period starting from the 4.6 bc then we started the journey the life started in the water and then it migrated to the land and in that process when the apes emerged apes emerged when the skull size was very much large and the and his hands the limbs were very much uh, large and just uh, used to touch the feet and the spinal cord was just like a bow that was the stage before the pleistocene period and after crossing these different periods after crossing these different periods when they entered into the paleolithic age early paleolithic age that was the homo erectus homo erectus because fossils mile hain hame we have got the discovered the fossils of the homo erectus humans homo homo erectus uh, in the homo erectus was that that was a process when the when they start when, when they when they started walking a little bit erect size when the spinal cord was uh, initially it was in the in the form of a bow only just like a d just like in a unit form and with the passage of time the spinal cord was also becoming upright or the straight one so that was the homo erectus period and the fossil fossils we have discovered from a particular site that is known as the hathnora site at the bank of the river narmada we have discovered that and that is belong to the pleistocene age and that was the lower paleolithic period that was with the passage of time just uh, when we talk about the mesolithic age their mind was more developed that's why their tools also become developed and these microliths were only few centimeters 3 cm 4 cm not more than 7 cm they and they started using them in the in the form of of a handle just like that or that could be of the bones also that could be of the wood also and just like a bow or just like a spear they were they started making them so that was the idola force so here we have to discuss the different techniques the techniques of the direct percussion technique was there cylinder hammer technique was there platonic techniques lavalosian technique abdulian and estulian techniques were there by these techniques they used to make the flakes they used to make the borers burins scrapers so these techniques were there and what the and what are what uh, what does the what does this name stands lavalosian abdulian and estulian actually these are the name of the places these are the name of the sites in an african continent and in the european continent particularly these three lavalosian abdulian and estulian in the france in the uh, uh, in france and that was around 8000 bc period when we get this when the uh, we get the evidences of this abdulian and estulian technique and during that particular time in india also we are having the examples of this abdulian and estulian techniques so these are what these are just the names of the sites name of the places and the and what type uh, and the archaeologists discovered what type of tools from those particular sites they they started giving name of that site to those tools and those techniques also and that's how these different techniques emerged and in the prelims level there will be no question what was the lavalosian technique that type of question will not be there that could be a part of the mains and if you get that type of questions in the mains what was the abdulian technique or what was the estulian technique then you can give the diagrams of these mesolithic and paleolithic tools also these mesolithic tools so mesolithic tools just like this this microliths you can see here it is just like a rod and these are the microliths which are attached to these and these were cemented cement was definitely not there then what was there how they used to stick those small microliths to a particular rod type instrument that was by the raising methods so for with the help of the raisins they used to stick these microliths there and they were in that triangular form also square form also rectangular form also d shaped lunates that is the crescent shape just like the half moon half moon shape these type of tools they used in the microliths and in the uh, in the mesolithic age and in the paleolithic age was basically what hand axes and flakes what flakes actually are what do you mean by flakes in the flakes what happened when they used to uh, you can just take the example if they had two stones in their in their two hands and one hand uh, stone they used just like a hammer and started giving the other stone by 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 beating that stone with a particular hammer what they they, they started giving the shape 
to that particular tool to that particular stone in order to get the desired shape so that they could do their work from that so that was the flakes just like the certain layers they were occurred on the stones and that were the flakes different type of techniques these are the different type of techniques which they used during this particular time in the third point we have to discuss what was the toil what was the tools typology what type of tools so in the initial stages that was on the lower Paleolithic age, hand axes and table tools were there. In the initial stages, when the mind was not much developed, so what type of tools they were using? Only the hand axes. Hand axes just like that, it, that was the hand axe here. Here that is, a, that is a stand, you can say, or handle, that could be of the bone also, that could be of the of, of, a, of, of a, a branch of the tree also, and by that they attached that tool, that was the hand axe. And this axe could be of the stone. That, that was hand exposed there. Then pivot tools were there and during this particular time Homo erectus man also emerged and flakes and blades also and these flakes and blades we have discovered from the Sangho cave in Peshawar valley that is the present day Pakistan area. So these were the tools of the Paleolithic age. Paleolithic age tools these were. Besides this from where we have discovered these tools in India we have discovered these tools from different sites. What were the sites? First is the Son River Valley in Punjab, Son River Valley it is, and Singroli in UP. These are the sites which belong to the lower Paleolithic age and we have discovered the hand axes and the pebble tools from there. These were the sites. Besides this, Chota Nagpur in Jharkhand is also a site. Las Velas and, and Bhukti Hills of Baluchistan in the Kachi Plain in the Pakistan area that would be time. Then Belam Valley in Mirzapur, UP. Ghat Prabha River in the Karnataka. So what type of questions could be asked in the plains? From where we have discovered the tools of the lower Paleolithic age, where is the Son Valley, Singroli, UP, where is Chota Nagpur in Jharkhand, and from there we have discovered in La from Las Vila and Bhukti Hills of Baluchistan also. So this type of questions could be asked from where we have discovered the lower Paleolithic age tools in India from, from which sites particular. So you have to cram these sites. Besides cramming, there is uh, some certain concepts are also there. What are the type of, uh, what type of concepts are there? Just take the example that the Paleolithic age was less developed and Mesolithic age was more developed. You can give examples by, the given, by giving the sites also and by giving the improvement and development in their tools also. And Neolithic was much more developed because in the Neolithic they started a settled life, agriculture, uh, production and domestication of animal was there so definitely that was a much developed improvement over the phases of the Paleolithic when they used to render just like the animals that is the concept and in the facts you have to cram all these names many other names are also there so you can take the help of some uh, uh, some guidebooks also in which you can get this uh, this all material material in a very compact way because the time is very much short from on the 24th of, of this month there is the exam of the UBPC is free also so you have to have to just go uh, at a very quick speed. Then we have to discuss that was all about the lower Paleolithic age. Then we have to discuss middle Paleolithic age and what was the time period of this lower Paleolithic age? That is was from 2.5 lakh BC to 1 lakh 40 thousand was the time period of the entire lower Paleolithic. This Paleolithic divided into three parts. I told you earlier. Earlier it was the lower Paleolithic, middle Paleolithic, and upper Paleolithic. Till now we have completed the topic of the lower Paleolithic, what was the techniques they used, what type of tools they used, what were the tools, the tools were the hand axes and the pavement tools, flakes and blades, that type of tools used by the early Paleolithic men and these are the sites from where we have discovered these types of tools, so that is all about the lower Paleolithic age. Now we have to discuss the Middle Paleolithic age. So Middle Paleolithic age in, in this Middle Paleolithic age that was the technique of the Mosterian technique they used. So all these techniques were basically based on what in order to develop the flakes in the stones. And, and, uh, and by, by giving the particular shape of the, of the flakes they used in their daily life purposes. And that's why they wanted to give them the desired shape according to the needs of those particular person. So Mosterian techniques was also there. By which was used by the middle Paleolithic people. And the tools typology were the scrapers and Bhimetka paintings. Bhimetka painting in, uh, in, the, in the MP area, around 40 kilometers from Bhopal. And there is the emergence of the Nindardhal man also. Nindardhal man was the was a, a, 
a development an improvement over the homo erectus phase so here we have discovered the neanderthal man and scrappers scrappers means khurchne ke liye jaise jisko khurcha jata hai scrap kiya jata hai that is the scrappers and uh, that type of tools they had and these scrappers from where from where we have discovered the scrappers we have discovered from the himetka and we have the himetka paintings in np also besides this these scrappers we have discovered from the jammu and kashmir river hider in the belgaum area in west bengal bakura and this purulia region from there from these areas from these areas we have discovered the tools of the middle paleolithic age so you have to cram the sites from which sites it was the belgaum it was the bakura it was the purulia in west bengal area then we have to discuss the upper paleolithic age the time period of the upper paleolithic age was from 140000 to 40000 only that was the uh, upper paleolithic is from 40000 to 10000 only so here blade manufacturing by percussion and pressure percussion and pressure technique they used to follow in order to give the desired looks and desired shape to the stones so that they could use them according to their requirements this technique they used there and during this particular time there was the rise or beginning of the early homo sapiens also so here we have seen what neanderthal was there and before there is the homo erectus was there so homo erectus that was just the beginning of the of of the state of the of the state man not the not the bending or the man with the bow just like the spinal cord was just like the bow that was not the shape here that was the beginning of homo erectus and after that it developed into the neanderthal and then it developed into the homo sapiens also the true homo sapiens by this upper paleolithic age the true homo sapiens that the, the person we just we like today so earlier homo sapiens start in that age blade tools we have discovered from andhra pradesh the place is regunta and bone tools we have discovered earlier another from the andhra pradesh and that was the kurnool district so from the regunta and in ap and this kurnool in ap we have discovered the tools of which belong to this upper paleolithic age and the species was the homo sapiens here okay and this we have discovered from where the sites are the flint industry that is the scrapers and the burins circular plate form it's very much important here from this upper paleolithic age we have discovered a circular plate form of around 85 cm in size and excavators of elahabad university and barclay university this barclay university in california area barclay university they located a triangular shaped mother goddess and that type of mother goddess we used to worship in the indus valley people also so this is very much important you can note down also a circular plate form of 85 cm around excavated by the scholars of the elahabad university india and the barclay university california they have discovered there a triangular shaped stone and that is assumed that the people of that particular time they started worshiping also and it is assumed that that was the mother goddess besides this the tools are discovered by the visadi in gujarat and that was the there we have discovered a paleolithic tool factory large number of paleolithic tools from visadi in gujarat we have discovered on the upper paleolithic age so that was all about the paleolithic age upper paleolithic middle paleolithic and the lower paleolithic age what were the sites what were the tools and what type the techniques they used during that particular time that we have discussed here now we are going to discuss the another phase of the period of the stone age that is the mesolithic age and this time period is approximately from 10000 to 4000 as i just told you don't get yourself confused if you get different number of years in different number of books because no question will be there no question will be there what is the exact age of the mesolithic age what is the exact period of the paleolithic age what is the exact period of the neolithic age because it is not because it is not we can say that it is not written in books that it is a particular age the different scholars have given their own views own findings and up to an extent we can't reject them because they have given evidences of the of them also then where is the solution the solution is that we can take the mean of more, mean you can say that which is more or less acceptable to most of the students or oh, sorry most of the scholars so most of the scholars believe that it was the 2.5 lakh bc when we when we start the paleolithic age and it goes by the 10000 it is it is that could be 2.4 that could be 9 that could be 11 but it is in that range it, that and that's a trivial issue okay next is the <coughs> mesolithic age okay so same techniques of making the stones of making the stone tools from the boulders from the 
the from the of uh, the mesolithic age people they used the same techniques which was being followed by the people of the paleolithic age the same technique was almost same technique was used by the mesolithic age people also here we have discovered microliths as i told you microliths that was in few centimeters that could be from 1 cm to 700 cm that was the size of the microlith only and that was the important industry that on or that is that gives a separate recognition to the mesolithic age and that was the microliths and mesolithic as i told you that is the transition phase from the paleolithic age to the neolithic age and these microliths were cemented with resin into a piece of wood pottery making was also started there so it was the time period that the pottery making was also started there definitely it's a development also because in the earlier phase i told you people that what the people of the lower paleolithic age used to live near the water bodies near the rivers why because they didn't have any utensils anything to hold the water to carry water from one place to another that's why they were forced to live only on the river banks but now with the passage of time they were developed and they started pottery making also by the mesolithic and it was the beginning of a settled life also it was the beginning of a settled life also when we talk about the uh, at the world scenario you can take the example of the of the african continent or the european continent there we have the by 8000 bc there we have discovered some man made huts or man made settlement so that was the transitional phase back in this transitional phase neither they were the completely wandering stage and not it was the completely settled age that settled age we will get in the neolithic phase so here what was here was the small flint tools microliths cemented with resin into a piece of wood and pottery making was also there so what was that you can take the example of here also so that was just a, that that could be a bone piece also straight and that could be a wood piece also and on this wood or on this bone they used to stick the microliths and those microliths this is the microlith this is the microlith this is the microlith this is the microlith and this is also microlith and this is the whole microlith tool and they used in the arrowheads and in the spears भाला जिसको जैवलिन थ्रो बोलते हैं जैवलिन या भाला में वो उसको यूज करते थे और इसको एरोज में भी यूज किया जाता था फॉर द हंटिंग पर्पसेस दैट वाज द माइक्रोलिथ देन दिस माइक्रोलिथ पोट्री दिस माइक्रोलिथ वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड फ्रॉम द द पोट्री ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑफ द मिसोलिथिक एज वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड फ्रॉम द चोपानी मांडो इट्स अ प्लेस इन इलाहाबाद फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड द पोट्री दैट बिलोंग टू द मिसोलिथिक एज देन इन द गुजरात at the river bank of the tapti ravi so sorry tapti narmada mahi sagarmati river bank we have discovered the different tools that belong to the mesolithic age okay after that we have to discuss the neolithic age neolithic age that is the age of the revolution neolithic revolution was that why it was the revolution because now the life became completely settled life there was no signs or features of the wandering life and the people were completely living in a settled life there crop productions were there proper crop production were there and uh, domestication of animal was also there and they had a settled life used to live in the different shapes houses small houses were there and that could be made of the reeds or or or, or wood or or bamboos also circular houses they used to live and during this particular age what was the